인생 생각하기 나름이죠 무슨 일을 하고 웃고 즐기면서 하면 되죠 잘할 수 있다면 뭐든지 다 좋아 일단 한 번뿐인 인생을 즐기면서 살면 되죠 This song is p a p a r o t BGM Enjoy your life 이제부터 하루 종일 24시간은 즐길 시간이라고 외쳐보자고요 Hello guys, I'm your friend p a p a r o It's something I've already done a lot of That's why this video will be explained in English for foreign friends. Last time, I did a perfect repair on my 2 generation computer. This time, I will try to repair 7 generation computer. No need for long words. Let's start with me. Okay, let's go. This is H Pro Desk 400G for business personal computer. It is a very small PC, just a little longer than the length of my hand, and small enough to be less than 30 centimeters. This model is equipped with Intel 7 generation CPU. For those who are curious about PC specifications, I will guide you through some titles. Now, let's proceed with the cleaning and repair. The breakdown of the mini PC was the same turn of no screen. First, Loosen the rear screw. The cover is detached by pulling the side cover back, like this. The front cover can be removed by lifting the four fixing clips on the front. You can see the sealing block. Press the lower part and lift it to separate it. Just press on this part. You can see the Sierra power cable and data cable connectors. The main power connector is also different because the motherboard is not a common size. The solid state drive can be installed on the motherboard using the NVMe method. Sierra power cable and data cable are used for CD-ROM. Let's take the power supply apart first. You cannot use a Philips or a crosshead screwdriver. HP uses a lot of Tox screws. You should use a threaded or tough screwdriver. The power supply connector configuration is very simple. Main power is 6 pin and the auxiliary power is 4 pins. You are watching the power of channel right now. A separate cover is installed to exhaust air from the CPU cooler. You can separate it by pulling it forward. Looks like this. I also remove the CPU cooler. Again, the thermal grease is all dry. I need to remove the dry thermal grease. And I clean up the dust. It's very simple, so there's nothing to clean. Cleaning has already been done. I will show you the CPU as well. You can see the i5 7500 3.4 GHz specification. I will also remove the summer grease on the side. Also clean the cooler. If there is not much dust, you can clean it like this. You can use an unused toothbrush to clean it. I will also remove the cola to show you. You can clean it with just one wipe. I'll also show you the inside of the power supply. You can remove the cover by lifting it up. A small size cooler is installed at the end. It is a structure that sends wind forward to cool and escape heat. I will take the cooler apart and clean it.
since the plan runs smoothly, I will reinstall it without lubricating it. A flyer moderate amount of summer grease. As always, I'll spread it with an ice cream stick. You should also apply the heat sink. I'm back again. Take it. I'll fix the cooler by tightening the screws little by little diagonally. Plug in the 4-pin cooler power supply. And I will install the air exhaust cover. I will install the power supply. When you push it while pressing it, you will hear talk sound and it will be fixed. Plug in the 6-pin main power and also plug in the 4-pin auxiliary power. The front USB, audio, and switches are fixed on the main board, so no separate pin connection is required. You are watching the Papareo channel right now. This time, I will install DDR4 memory. You can fix it to the main board. While looking closely at the groove in the middle, you may need to do this before fixing the memory to the motherboard. What is it? You can erase it once with an eraser. DDR4 memory installation went well. I'm going to install it with a SATA SSD instead of an NVMe SSD. You can use the bracket hole to fix the SSD with a screw. And I will install the data cable and power cable connectors. The brackets were also fixed well. Hardware cleaning and installation for mini computer use is complete. Also fix the front cover. Shall I show you? There was nothing special. This cleaning is finished. Fixing the side cover completes the hardware cleaning work. You are watching the Papareo channel right now. Now can I start installing the software? Just proceed with the Windows 10 operating system installation. Enter the BIOS by pressing the F2 or the Del key. Let's keep pressing the Del key. I did something useless. The memory size error screen appeared because the memory capacity has been upgraded. HP Norfolk Surfaces will display an error message if the system memory size is different from the last startup, the most common reason is the remove of the memory from the system board. Pressing Enter will record a new configuration. If this message persists, verify that the memory modules are installed correctly. Press Enter to continue. Everyone knows how to install Windows 10, but I will explain it in detail again. Since I have more than 4GB of memory, I will select 64-bit to continue the installation. When installing Windows 10 for the first time, if the manufacturer logo appears, it is installing in UEFI mode. One interesting thing to tell you is that the current USB installation disk is not a UEFI disk. Please note, the installation start screen is displayed. Next, install now. I don't have a product key. Select the version of Windows 10 to install and then click Next. At the checking I read to the terms of news. Click Next. Custom selection. OK, if the SSD is already in use, delete the drive partitions. Confirm. If you have a new SSD, you don't have to do this. 
Importantly, if you delete it, all data will be removed. So you should back up the data you need in advance. Do you understand? Okay, go ahead. New, apply, confirm. It is recommended to install the SSD without partitioning. All partitions are created automatically. You are watching the Papareo channel right now. You can see that the recovery, system, reservation, and primary partitions are created and the installation proceed in UEFI mode. Next, you can restart when it changes to the installing of each screen. It took 2 minutes and 10 seconds to get here from copying Windows files. Restart. After rebooting, you can see that the memory size error, screen you show earlier does not appear. It will automatically reboot again. Now, the settings screen appears. It took about 2 minutes and 10 seconds more to get to this screen. It took about 5 minutes to get to this screen from the beginning. Compared to the last two generation computer desktop, there is almost no difference in installation speed. You can see that the higher the CPU generation and the larger the memory capacity, the faster the installation will not be. However, I think it would have been a little faster if I had installed an NVMe SSD. I will proceed with the installation. Region after selecting Korea. Yes. Yes. Skip. No internet. Continue with immediate install. After entering your name, click Next. Also after entering the password, click Next. No. Choose your privacy settings for your device. Select No to All and Accept. Accept. A welcome message appears on the screen. If you see this message, the user settings are finalized. Well, the Windows 10 wallpaper came out. Windows 10 basic installation is complete. The entire Windows 10 install took 7 minutes. Compared to the last i5 to generation computer desktop, it took almost the same installation time. There's nothing special about the 7th generation. Please note that the driver is automatically installed when you connect to the network. You are watching the Papareo channel right now. After cleaning the i5 7th generation mini computer through a clean installation of Windows 10, I confirmed that it works fine. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.
시간은 즐긴 시간이라고 외쳐보자고요 어, 어. 힘들다고 어깨 굽히지 말아줘요 떠도 어깨 활짝 벽한번 외쳐보자고요 예, 예.